as a farmer, I don't like to see land in agriculture, but as somebody river keeper trying to keep the waters clean in the Swanee River Basin, I have to compare the current agricultural use to the proposed solar use. And uh, the land appears to be most in cotton, which is everybody knows uses a lot of pesticides, which can wash into the waterways and affect the wildlife and humans. And the irrigation for the center pivots continues to make the water table very bad, which we all know is a problem. Solar farms typically don't do anything. Except, of course, solar farms often uh, use herbicides to control uh, vegetation on the property. So my uh, I have three recommendations. One is to use herbivores instead, cheaply used by many solar farms for this purpose. Number two. If they do use urban boards and they need to make sure that the manure does not wash off into the waterways, the erosion control plan looks like it has um, basically, a, I forget what they use to call them on the plan, but basically detention ponds that look like they will serve the purpose. This is, I suppose, yet another reason that the county should review the erosion control plan after it comes back from the state to make sure it is adequate. And number three about the dirt roads, it's not just keep them, uh, keep them scraped and keep the ditches full, but make sure that any industrial pollution from the installation does not get into the waterways. Your, your code, the numbers on the waterway, it appears to cover that, but if you're going to have a road condition, you might want to make sure that's in there too. With conditions such as this, you know, safeguards, this uh, project could actually be an upland buffer protecting creeks and rivers. Thank you.